Hi everybody, I'm going to show you a little video on how to graph a cosine function. And it's going to be in two parts because I've been filming it and it's too big in one. So this will be the first part. 3 minus 2 cosine 1 half x minus pi over 6. We start with here. Its amplitude is 2. Negative sign means it's been reflected over the x-axis, so it'll be upside down. So instead of starting up here, we're going to start down here. And it's been shifted up 3. So amplitude's 2, shifted up 3, reflected over x-axis. Now let's get the period. It's normally 2 pi, but we have to divide by the coefficient of x of 1 half, and we get 4 pi. I always suggest you use your calculator when you're dividing fractions. 2 divided by half is 4. Then we got to break that into intervals, into four intervals. So take your period four pi and divide it by four and you get pi, which is going to be nice and easy to count by pi. Now the shift left or right, we have to factor out the coefficient of x. So bring a one half out, that leaves x and divide that by half. So on your calculator, one six divided by one half is one third. and then add the pi back in. You don't have to do it on the calculator. Okay, now, I have to shift it left to right. It's negative, which means it's shifted to the right. Pi over three. So I'm just gonna do a little housekeeping here. It's zero to two pi, except this is going to be four pi. So it's zero to four pi. And now I have to shift it. So add pi over 3 to both of these. And 0 plus pi over 3 is pi over 3. And 4 plus 1 third, that'd be 4 and a third. 4 and a third, change that to an improper fraction, would be 12 plus 1 is 13 thirds. Okay, now we'll draw my axis. And I'm putting the x-axis down low because I know I'm going to be shifting it up three. All right, that's going to be the end of part one. So then you can watch part two.